right now on this beautiful Sunday morning is 6 a.m. Come on, G.T. Wake up, baby G. It's 6 o'clock. What's wrong, Daddy? 6 o'clock? Are you forgetting this is Sunday? What are you doing up this early? Are you forgetting it's only a few more days till Christmas? You woke me up to tell me that. Really, Jeffrey? Besides, the stores aren't even open yet. We can't do any shopping. Oh, yes, we can. The stores may be closed, but the woods are open. And we're going shopping for our Christmas tree. Now, come on, everybody up. We have a long way to go. Aren't we going to buy our Christmas tree for Mr. Nermson like we do every year, Daddy? No, not this year, Baby G. We're all going to pile into the Jeffrey Mobile and take a long drive out into the country and chop down our very own Christmas tree, just like George Washington did. George Washington chopped down a Christmas tree? George Washington chopped down a cherry tree, Daddy. <laughs> Just wanted to see if you were awake. Besides, it's time we started doing more things for ourselves, like our ancestors did. Nermson's nursery only charged us $5 for our tree last Christmas, dear. Yes, and this year, with everything going up, he'll probably charge us double. Well, as long as you've made your mind up, we might as well make a day of it. I'll fix some sandwiches and a thermos of hot chocolate. Hooray! Hooray! And we can have a picnic! <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, you girls get busy while I go out to the garage and check the Jeffrey Mobile. Make sure you take along some extra bags of potato chips for the tank. You know the Jeffrey Mobile only runs on potato chips. Don't worry, Gigi. I won't forget. Now, you two, hurry up. There's nothing like getting an early start, I always say. Oh, Daddy, the traffic is terrible. Where is everybody going so early in the morning? I don't know, Baby G. But one thing you can be sure of, nobody's going out to chop down their own Christmas tree. Hiya, Mac! Nice day to go out and chop down your own Christmas tree, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah. Sure is. I wonder where he got the idea. It doesn't matter, dear. I'm sure there'll be enough trees for everybody. Not if this traffic doesn't start to move. I wonder what's holding it up. There's a big truck up ahead, Daddy, and all the cars are stopping. I think he's selling something. Here you are, folks. Get your fresh-cut Christmas trees from Nermson's Nursery. Christmas trees. Come on, folks. Pick them out. Only five dollars. Five dollars any size or shape. Do you believe that? Yes. Let's stop and get one here from Nermson's Nursery. It really doesn't pay to drive all the way out No. To... When my mind is made up, it's made up. And that's all there is to it. The cars are moving now, Daddy. See? Now we can enjoy driving along. Before you know it, we'll be out in the country smelling the clean, fresh air. And all our worries will be over. Daddy, do you know a man in a blue coat riding a motorcycle? I don't think so. Why? Well, he's waving at you. Should I wave back? Never mind. Here he comes. All right, pull it over and park there on the grass. What's the trouble, officer? We weren't speeding, officer. Uh, may I see your driver's license and registration, please? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, here it is. Are you going to give my daddy a ticket, officer? How did you know my name, little girl? I don't know your name. But you called me Ossifer. That's my name, Officer Ossifer. <laughs> That's a silly <laughs> name. Yeah, well. Baby G. <laughs> what did I do wrong, Officer Ossifer? Oh, uh, nothing. I was just wondering what kind of car you're driving. I've never seen one like that before. Well, I'm happy to say it's my very own invention. It's called a Jeffrey Mobile, and it runs on potato chips. Potato chips? <laughs> it should run on jam. <laughs> Why is that? Because with everybody looking at your car, you're uh, causing a traffic jam. <laughs> yeah, that's what on you. Uh, oh, by the way, where are you folks off to today? We're going out into the country to chop down our very own Christmas tree. We usually buy one from Nermson's nursery. 
But this Christmas, we're going to do it ourselves. Well, goodbye, folks, and uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas! And Merry Christmas to you, too, officer. Uh, officer. Now, let's all settle down, and we'll get going again. Here we go! Say, that looks like a good place to stop. It has drink machines and trees. Look at all those beautiful Christmas trees! Let's stop, Daddy! Let's stop! Oh, this is a lovely place. But I don't think you can just walk around cutting those trees down. Nonsense! Of course I can. There's no sign around that says I can't, is there? No, not that I can see. But I still think you ought to ask someone if it's all right. There's no one around to ask. You and Baby G wait here. I'll just get my axe out of the trunk, climb over that fence, and before you know it, I'll be back with our very own Christmas tree. I want to come with you, Daddy. No, you wait here with Mommy. And one, two, three, I'll be back with the tree. Four, five, six, fiddlesticks. Seven, eight, nine, don't waste time. Don't worry, I won't. Bye, Gigi. Bye, Baby G. Oh, I hope he'll be all right. I don't like him going off like that in the woods. Don't worry, Mommy. Daddy has an axe with him. That's what I'm afraid of. You know your daddy always gets into trouble when we're not around. Mommy, Mommy, look. Daddy found a friend in the woods. I think he's a Boy Scout. <gasps> oh, my goodness. That's not a Boy Scout. It's a forest ranger. I wonder what's wrong. Uh, is this your husband, ma'am? Yes, it is. What seems to be the trouble? Well, he was about to chop down a tree, and I caught him in the axe. Ooh-ha-ha, ha, that's a good one on you, folks. <laughs> I can explain. You see, Yeah, I, I see, but I don't think you see that sign. What sign? The one that says, don't chop early before Christmas. <laughs> don't chop. Chop, chop, chop. You, you, well, forget it. <laughs> it's a good one on you, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh I didn't know we were in a state park. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Ranger. My daddy looked for a sign when we drove in, but we didn't see any. Well, that's because your daddy drove in the wrong way, little girl. Oh, seems like everything's been going the wrong this morning. Oh, there's no real harm done, ma'am. But if you folks would like a real nifty Christmas tree at a real nice price, uh, <clears throat> may I suggest a nice place in town? Where's that? Uh, it's called Nermson's Nursery, and it's run by a, a friend of mine. You don't mean Nielsen Nermson, do you? Yeah, that's him, Nielsen Nermson. Uh, would you like directions on how to get there? No, thanks. I think I can find my way. Oh, oh Daddy, won't Mr. Nermson be happy to see us after all? Not any happier than we'll be to see him. <laughs> 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 The Christmas tree, the Christmas tree All we tried to do was get a Christmas tree Oh, what fun we didn't have Getting our Christmas tree We got into a traffic jam And almost got in trouble with a ranger man Oh, what fun we didn't have Getting our Christmas tree Sure, we could have bought a tree on the corner. Or we could have bought a tree on a truck. But we ran looking for a tree for free. Till we ran out of luck. Yuck! The Christmas tree, the Christmas tree. Finally had to go and buy a Christmas tree. It's very nice at twice the price. A beautiful, fabulous, wonderful, marvel, expensive Christmas tree. A beautiful, fabulous, wonderful, marvel, expensive Christmas tree. He 
been in his basement workshop since early this morning. With so much to do before Christmas, I wonder what he's up to now. He's inventing again. Oh, dear, not again. Remember what happened the last time with that silly talking doorbell? Yeah, he called me a brat. And I'm still mad at it. Well, let's hope whatever he's inventing this time works out better. Is Daddy going to come up for lunch? Oh, you know your Daddy. When he starts working on something, he forgets everything. Like when he forgot your birthday last year? Hmm, we won't talk about that. Here, I fixed a tray with a nice sandwich, a cold glass of milk, and an apple. If he won't come to lunch, we'll just have to bring lunch to him. Oh, goody! It'll be a surprise for Daddy. It sure will. He was expecting a steak. There's no business like snow business. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, I'll just tighten up that thingamajig and tap this doohinky into place. Hi, Daddy. Mommy and I brought you lunch. I can't stop now, baby G. I'm just about to put the whatchamacallit on the Framus. <gasps> really, Jeffrey? Not in front of the child. What's a whatchamacallit, Daddy? Well, it's this little part of the machine that I haven't given a name yet. You mean like a, a doohickey? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Gee, you're smart, Daddy. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, speaking of nothing, what are you inventing this time? Gigi, you won't believe it, but we're going to be rich. That's nice. Eat your sandwich, dear. You don't believe me. And drink your milk. And don't forget your apple. Mm, that's all right. They laughed at Fulton, and they laughed at Edison, and Alexander Graham Bell. I wonder who wrote their jokes. Were they on TV, Daddy? No, Baby G. They were around long before TV. They were great inventors, too. Like you, Daddy? Mm, you could say that. And someday, people all over the world will say it. Especially in the South, where they don't have snow for Christmas. What about the people in the North? They have snow for Christmas. Yes, sir. Once this little baby goes into production, the Jeffrey Christmas Snow Machine will make us rich and famous. Whee! Then they could all laugh at my daddy like those other people you told about. Hmm, it does have possibilities. Imagine, snow for Christmas all over the world. What's possibilities, daddy? Well, that means all the things we can do with the machine, like, uh, Having snowball fights in July. Whee! Or making it snow in places like Florida or Africa, where people have never before seen snow for Christmas. I think he's got it. I really think this time you've got it, Jeffrey. When do you think you'll be ready to try it? As soon as I have my lunch. Forget the lunch. Try it now. <laughs> All right. I wasn't hungry anyway. Now, just let me set the temperature control to here and move the connecting rod to there. That should do it. Ready, everybody? Ready, Daddy. Okay. Here we go. That doesn't sound like it's going to snow. It sounds like it's going to rain, Daddy. Nonsense. In many parts of the country, you'll find lightning and thunder before a snowstorm. Well, this isn't one of them. I just felt a drop. And if that was snow, it's the wettest snow I've ever felt. Daddy, I'm getting all wet. Make it stop. All right, everybody, keep calm. I'll fix it. It just needs a little adjusting. <laughs> Daddy, make it stop. I'm doing make the best stop. I can, honey. <clears throat> I'll just move the atmospheric pressure bar over. Uh, like that. Jeffrey, before the whole house blows away. Hang in there. I'll make it snow yet, or my name isn't Jeffrey Giraffe. Hurry, Daddy, hurry. My hair is blowing in my eyes, and I can't see. Hold on, baby G. As soon as I move this lever over, huh, there. Oh, Mommy, Daddy, look. Look, it's starting to snow. It's snowing. It's snowing. 
I told you I could do it. Oh, Jeffrey, you're oh. wonderful. I can't believe my eyes. It's really snowing. Oh, oh it's cold and cold, Daddy. Me too. I think you'd better turn it off now, dear. <laughs> right you are. I'll just flip this switch and... Mm, maybe I'd better flip it again. It didn't stop. What's wrong, dear? Why won't it shut off? I don't know. According to my plans, it should be off now. Daddy, look, look what's coming out of the snow machine. Jeffrey, there's an arm, a big snowy arm. And there's another arm. It's a man, Daddy, a real life snowman. Uh, I see, baby G, I, I see. I've got a snowman. I've got a snowman. My very own snowman. Hush, I've baby got G. A snow we don't want to frighten him. Frighten him? He's frightening me. Look, Jeffrey. He's starting to walk. All right, everybody. Stay where you are. I'll handle this. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Snowman, but who are you? Permit me to introduce myself. I am Snowkenstein. Snowkenstein? Yes, the snow monster. Perhaps you have heard of me, hmm? I've heard of the abominable snowman. Are you any relation? Uh, my second cousin, but we don't speak to each other. Why not? He gave me the cold shoulder. <laughs> he thought he could take over the world, but I will show him. I am taking over, starting right here. <laughs> Run, Gigi! Oh, run! 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 Come on! Run. Get away from here! Here, darling! Mommy has you! Jeffrey, do something! I will! I will! Ah. Oh. Gigi! Gigi! Quick! Turn up the thermostat! Oh, I put the truck! Oh, no! Not on the machine! Come the back house. here! Oh! 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 No! No! Not that! Yes! Not you want to make it cold for me, huh? I'm going to make it hot for you! Here comes the heat! And there goes the snowman! He's melting! He's melting! Look, Daddy! He's turning into a puddle of water! Oh, goodbye, you bad snowman! Oh, Jeffrey, you were wonderful! <laughs> There goes the Christmas snow machine. Oh, Daddy, now what are the children all over the world going to do for snow when Christmas comes? It's not the snow on the ground that makes Christmas. It's the sunshine in your heart. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Oh, you never should have done it, should have never done, never should have done it. No, you never should have tried, should have never tried, never should have tried it. First you got the rain to fall where the rain should have never been. Then the wind came blowing and the snow started snowing. And Snowkenstein came in. Really made a mess, made a messy mess, you and your inventions. Though I really must admit that in spite of it, there were good intentions. So if you want Mother Nature just to love you, not to hate you, never fool around, never fool around, never fool around. Never fool around, cause the only fool around will be you, 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 you. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good night, everyone. Good night, Tom. Good night, Dick. Merry Christmas, Harry. Good night, Jeffrey, and uh, thank you for staying late tonight.
Ah, it certainly was a busy day here at the toy store, wasn't it? It sure was, Mr. Toy Man. I'll just straighten up a little before I go home. Yes, those last-minute Christmas shoppers really made a mess, didn't they, huh? They sure did. <laughs> I'm glad Christmas only comes once a year. I'm sure Santa feels the same way. Our work is done, but poor Santa, huh, his work is just starting. Well, be sure to lock up before you leave, Jeffrey, and, uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Mr. Toy Man! What a day. I'd better call home and tell Gigi and Baby G that I'll be a little late. I wouldn't want them to worry. Hello, and Merry Christmas, whoever you are. And a Merry Christmas to you too, Gigi. Who is it, Mommy? It's Daddy, dear. Pick up the extension phone. Whoever I am, I'm your daddy. That's whoever I am. Boy, am I tired. You should see the toy store. Everything is topsy-turvy. What's topsy-turvy, Daddy? It's what your room looks like before Mommy makes you clean it. That bad? That bad. And you have to clean it up? I have to clean it up. Poor Daddy. Try not to be too late, Jeffrey. Baby G and I took all the Christmas decorations down from the attic this afternoon, and we're waiting for you to come home so we can all trim the Christmas tree. Oh, Daddy, wait till you see all the pretty ornaments we have. <laughs> That's ornaments, Baby G. And those are the same ornaments we had last year. You mean ornaments, don't you, Daddy? That's what I said, ornaments. Oh, oh now you've got me doing it. Yes, and dear, I know. And blue, and, oh, and orange, and... Uh, Daddy and has to hang up now, and dear. Purple, and, and red. You said red. And, 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 and purple. That's fine, baby and, G. You and, sort them uh, all out, uh, and as soon and, as I get home, and, and, we'll put uh, them up. And yellow. And Drive and carefully red. in your Jeffrey mobile, dear, and hurry home. I will. Bye, Gigi. Bye, dear. Bye, baby G. And green. If I let her, she'd go through every color of the rainbow. She really knows her colors. That's pretty good for a little girl. Oh, oh, I didn't realize how tired I was. I'll just put this spacesuit and helmet back where they belong over by the rocket ships. And, oh, whew, I'm really sleepy. I think I'll just curl up here in the space center for a few minutes and take a little nap before I go home. And that's just what he did. Soon, Jeffrey was fast asleep. And soon, Jeffrey began to dream. And in his dream, he heard... This is Space Center calling astronaut Jeffrey. You copy. Huh? Uh, somebody calling me? This is Mr. Toyman calling astronaut Jeffrey. Do you read? Over. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Toyman, this is astronaut, I mean, uh, astronaut, uh, astronaut Jeffrey. Over. <laughs> Glad I caught you in, Jeffrey. Uh, we have a slight problem. And if you aren't too busy at the toy store, maybe you can help us. Well, I was just about to leave for home. It's Christmas Eve, you know. Well, that's the problem. We just picked up a distress call from Santa Claus, and we need your help. A distress call from Santa? What happened? Well, it seems Santa turned right at the North Pole when he should have turned left. Is that bad? Is that bad? It couldn't be worse. Donder and Blitzen and all the reindeer are in orbit around the Earth, and they can't get back. Oh, boy, that's terrible. We have to do something to help Santa. You're right. Time is running out. It's almost 12 o'clock, and you know what that means. It means I'll catch heck when I get home. Gigi and Baby G will be worried about me, but I'm sure they'll understand. They wouldn't want millions of children all over the world to wake up Christmas morning and find their stockings empty and no presents under the tree. All right, Jeffrey, then get ready for takeoff. 
Prepare for countdown. Good luck, Jeffrey! Happy Andy! Hey, don't forget don't to bring forget back, to back Santa! Don't forget Santa Claus! Ten seconds and holding. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Blast off! Systems rate go, and you're uh -huh. looking good. I don't feel so good. Uh oh, I think I see Santa. There's a red light up ahead. Wrong. That's the mail plane from Pittsburgh. If that's the mail plane, it's being drawn by eight tiny reindeer, and the pilot has a long white beard. Uh, well, just, just, just a minute. Uh, don't go away. Don't worry, I won't. We'll ask the computer. <clears throat> Never mind the computer. I'm telling you, I see him. Hold on. I'll just make sure. Don't go away. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Oh, Santa, is that you? Ho, 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 ho. And get me out of here, will you? It's Santa, all right. And he's going around in circles. Now, now, listen carefully, Jeffrey. In exactly six seconds, Santa will pass directly over you. Good. I'll just open the hatch and pull them all in. Be careful, because if you miss... You'll keep orbiting the Earth with Santa forever. And ever, and ever, and, and, and ever. Oh. <laughs> I won't miss. Okay, here goes. <coughs> ah. I've got the hatch open. And here comes Santa! <laughs> Don't miss, Jeffrey! Don't miss! I don't want millions of children all over the world to wake up Christmas morning and find their stockings empty and no presents under the tree. Gotcha. Come on, Santa. Come on, Donder. Come on, Blitzen. Come on, gang. Have you got him? Have you got him, Jeffrey? All present and accounted for. We're heading home. You've done it. Ha <laughs> ha. He's done it. Uh, the whole world has been watching on television. You're a hero, Jeffrey. You're a hero. Just listen to what's going on. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It was nothing. Will somebody please answer the phone? I have to thank all the... Oh, oh my goodness. I must have fallen. Dream? Hello? Space Center? Space Center? Jeffrey, is that you? I think it is. I mean, I am. Of course it's me, I think. We've been so worried. I kept calling and calling, but nobody answered. Where have you been? Yes, Daddy, where have you been? Where have I been? If I told you, you'd never believe me. I would, Daddy, because now millions of children all over the world will wake up Christmas morning and find their stockings full. Now, how did she know that? I've been to the moon, circled the stars, traveled in a rocket ship to Venus and Mars, in a Christmas dream, a Christmas dream, a crazy, mixed-up Christmas dream. Santa was lost somewhere in space. Only one could save him was the guy with my face. In a Christmas dream, a Christmas dream, the funniest, scariest Christmas dream. Don't ask me why somebody thought I'd make a perfect astronaut. I swore I'd never learn to fly, even crossed my heart and hoped to die. But somehow you see, it worked out because we're gonna have a Christmas with a real Santa Claus. Was it just a dream? I wish I knew, cause they say on Christmas, say on Christmas, Christmas dreams come true.
was lovely, Gigi. Very good, Baby G. Christmas carols are such fun to sing. It's too bad we only get to sing them once a year. Shall we sing another one, Daddy? <laughs> One of these days, I'll have to fix that clock. Let's do it now, Daddy. I'll run down to your workshop and get the screwdriver Not and... Not tonight, it. young lady. Are you forgetting this is Christmas Eve? It's time you were in bed. But, Mommy... Mommy is right, Baby G. You know, Santa doesn't bring presents to little girls who are still awake when he comes to call. All right. But would you tell me a story when you tuck me in, Daddy? I'll do better than that. Frank, a famous Christmas poem. Was the night before Christmas. That's a long poem, dear. Are you sure you remember it all? Of course I remember it. Now come on. Let's get baby G ready for bed and I'll be right off. Okay, Daddy. I brush my teeth and said my prayers and put on my new pajamas. And we're all set to hear your famous poem. All right, girl. Here you go. <clears throat> Was the night before Christmas. Like tonight, Daddy? Yes, dear. Like tonight. Mommy interrupt Daddy, Baby G. Tell us, yes. Well, like I was saying. <clears throat> Was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. <laughs> sound like a mouse, Daddy. Well, this mouse had a cold. Sounds more like pneumonia. You should take some chicken soup and go to bed, Mommy. It's only a story, and I'm sure he'll get over it. Now, do you want to hear the rest of it or not? I'm sorry, Daddy. Go on, dear. Hmm. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Right, so they weren't hung with care. In hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I know what those children could have used for Christmas. What's that? Some new stockings. <laughs> the children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Sugar plums dance, Daddy. Now, now, dear. Let Daddy continue. Yes, Mommy. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Wake up, Daddy! Huh? 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 Oh, oh, yes. Uh, where was I? You were just settling down for one of your long winter naps. Oh, 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 yes, yes. <clears throat> when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Sounds like the neighbors are at it again. Hush, Mommy. Sorry, dear. Go on, Jeffrey. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Gee, Daddy, you're so Wrong. I'm trying to be. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. When what to my wondering eyes should appear? A miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Why, that's right, Baby G. That's very good. Do you know what comes next? The part about Santa. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be... Say, Nick. That's wonderful. See if you know this part. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and... Uh, Vixen! On Comet, on Cupid, on... Dodger and Blitzen! Oh, Jeffrey, our little girl is growing up. She sure is. Now, before she gets any older, can I go on? <laughs> yes, dear. So, up to the housetops, his reindeers flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. Oh, hey, hey. And then, in a twinkle, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoop. I think 
the reindeer are getting restless, Jeffy. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Is Santa all right, Daddy? Santa is fine, baby Jean. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. <coughs> we really should have had the chimney cleaned last summer. Poor Santa, he got all dirty. He'll get over it. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. Then, laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Goodbye, Santa. Not yet, baby G. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like a down on a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Good night, Daddy, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, honey. And Merry Christmas to everyone from all of us. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.